you would have seen a, a very rural community. Uh, Missouri as a whole in 1917 was still far more rural than urban, which meant you would have seen people who largely made their living off of farming. Uh, there would have been, uh, in central Missouri, of course, uh, state government. You would have seen in uh, the spring of 1917 the state of Missouri uh, on the cusp of moving into the newly built state capitol. We'd move into that building in the summer of 1917. In fact, um, the celebration, uh, the dedication of the capitol was delayed for several years because of the war. Uh, you would have seen um, um, very relatively little manufacturing. Uh, you would have seen very few cars. You would have still seen a, a culture and a society that was largely horse driven. Uh, a pretty uh, uh, a market economy for agricultural goods, so very active rail system. Uh, but it, but uh, in many ways, uh, a state that was more in the 19th century than in th what we think of as the 20th century. How much support <coughs> did uh, Wilson's declaration of war have here uh, in the Columbia <coughs> Jefferson City area? Well, I think you have to go back, first of all, and remember that uh, that most Missourians uh, hoped war wouldn't come. And uh, remember that Wilson himself ran in 1916. His campaign slogan was, he kept us out of the war. I mean, the war had been going on for a couple of years, started in 1914. And uh, most Missourians, and, and again, keep in mind that uh, there were a very large number of Missourians of German ancestry. Um, I think something like 11 to 12 percent of Missourians were first or second generation Germans or German immigrants. Uh, so there, there was a lot of sentiment for staying out of the war and avoiding the war. But war came. And when war came, I think Missourians uh, generally were pretty good about uh, closing ranks and supporting the war. Uh, within a day or two after uh, the war decision was announced, there were uh, patriotic celebrations throughout central Missouri. I recall reading in a newspaper, for example, about Boonville, which I believe at the time was a town of about 5,000 people, and 7,000 people showed up for this patriotic uh, parade and celebration of of a demonstration of support for the war and support for the president. So, uh, so again, I would, I would make the point that prior to the declaration of war, there's, there's a tremendous desire to avoid war. But once the decision is made, central Missourians, Missourians generally closed ranks behind the president and supported the war effort.